Well, hey, boys and girls, I'm Pastor Mark. I'm the pastor at Nelson Christian Church. And there's lots of things that I love, but do you know one of the things that I love? I love books. And you know something else I love? I love Bardstown Primary School. So I'm gonna read some books for you. I love to come in and do it in person, but right now we can't do that. So I'm doing it on video. And I am here at my brother's house today. He has a house out in the country, and I wanna show you his house so that now I can show you a very special place that he built to look like his house. Are you ready? I'll be right back. Okay, well here we are again. Now I'm standing over by the playhouse that he built for his girls years ago. And I'm gonna read a book to you from the front porch, okay? But I just wanted you to see his real house and to see the playhouse. It's really a cool spot. Okay, we're gonna read a book now. Do you wanna know what the name of it is? You're not gonna like it. It's called The Book with No Pictures. What? Who likes books without pictures? Well, I guess we're gonna have to read it together since I've already got it here and Miss Stacy sent it to me to read. So here we go. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how the book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. Everything. Oh no, and now I'm getting worried. No matter what, they have to say it. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Blork. Wait, what? That doesn't mean anything. Blurf. What? Wait a second. This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Wait a minute. What? Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. Hey, wait a minute. What? I'm not a robot monkey. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. What? Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading now, please? No. And now it is time to sing my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a, a song? Glug, 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 my face is a bug. Wait a minute. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. Wait. Hey. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading now? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest of the book. <sighs> My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Bottom. Oh, oh, this is terrible. Also, the kid I'm reading this book to these kids are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. <gasps> really? And these kids are the smartest kids too because these kids chose this book 
even though it had no pictures because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Here it comes. Glurm for go wacky. Um, crumf, crumf, blackity, blackity, glibbity, globbity, glob, beep, beep. Ay, ay, brum, bagoony face, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. Oh, that is the end of the book. Now, I don't know if you saw, but I had a little friend come and visit with us. It was my brother's cat. You want to see the kitty? Do you? Let's see if she'll say hi. Let's see if she'll say hi. You ready? Here she is. Here's the kitty. Yes. Oh, my goodness. She liked the book. I hope you did, too. I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.